Hey guys, what's up? Beast and Beast Toys are coming at you. I'm do an opening party, Black Series style. So what does that mean? Um, done one or two. I've got one or two uh, somewhere down the road in my file. I'm on uh, year, let's say, year two. I'll start year two of my videos um, in January. I'm pretty sure last January I started doing uh, my openings and reviews. Today is December 20th. So we are five days from Christmas. Um, but uh, what that is, is I'm just going to open a bunch of figures. I've already done videos on these per se. So if you want to go look for them, they are here. Some are probably a few months ago. Some are just recent. But at any rate, got lots of stuff to open. So let's get started. So first one we'll start with. Fallen Order Flame Trooper. Uh, GameStop half off clearance so 1050 so pretty good deal bought five more of these recently so we're gonna bust this guy out and check him out for a second move on we're gonna open several here getting later gotta work tomorrow FedEx style so gonna deliver tomorrow um, Flame Trooper Specialized Commandos that support the war machine of the Galactic Empire. Highly proficient in the use of incendiary weapons. So he actually got a decent bio. Alright, so pretty much like a lot like the Snow Trooper. He's got a bit of a different helmet slightly because the snow trooper helmet seems to be more elongated the face is a little similar but eyes are a little different you get these little uh breathers rebreathers whatever you want to call them the body for the most part is good to the uh boots i believe the boots are a different i'm not even sure of it or different um a little different style than the uh snow trooper backpack um, similar, get a little added feature. Actually, it's similar to the first order backpack, I believe. And then, of course, the you know the the gas line runs out to the uh, flamethrower itself, which is very long. And uh, <coughs> I'll throw that in here. Get him set up, kind of the way we want him, per se, and voila. And put him in there put this in there and we have us a imperial flame trooper from fallen order all right there's a there's one down i set him off to my right here and throw in the box and then chuck it up in this box up here to my left above my head i'll organize that later all right what do we want to do next um uh, Ferrix, Ferrix Trooper. We did one of these. These are one of the few uh, Andor figures out there so far. We've got regular Andor. I've got to do an opening, actually. I've got the uh, Deluxe Andor from Pulse. It's sitting to my right forever. Um, comes with the BT, or the droid. I want to say BT, something like that. Anyhow, we're going to bust open a Ferrix Trooper. Oh, i got a couple open already. Um, I ended up buying a handful of these. I like this trooper. Plus, they target ran a sale buy, buy two get one free. So when you when you uh, figure that out at the price they're asking, I think they came out to like sixteen, seventeen a piece. So um, any, any black series figure, that's especially troop building style, I would say that's that you can get under twenty bucks is a win, in my opinion. So. Um, you know, we could do this differently too. I could always take the, uh, the helmet could come off. The helmet does come off of this guy. So, you know, we could make a, uh, maybe a more of an officer type out of this guy if you wanted to, um, take the helmet off. But, uh, these are regular type troopers on Ferrix. Very similar to mud troopers. 
be honest, sometimes I think I should buy a, a handful more Mud Trooper, Han Solo Mud Trooper, Mimban Hunt Mud Troopers because you could make it. Now the body style of the Mud Trooper is very similar to this and, uh, and I say that that Morak figure is essentially a Mud Trooper figure. Uh, the, uh, oh, the MiGs Morak Trooper mold is essentially a mud trooper without these goggle this goggle type that you get and it's a hover tank driver helmet but uh, you can look the body over pretty good and that's about what you get so you can kind of make I made I've bought so I've got like five or six MIGs and uh, are unboxed open and I almost bought a couple more GameStop had them for like 11 bucks I almost bought a couple more just to have but I didn't um, but anyway here's this guy so kind of a neat figure um, I bought into a few more of them. I actually have another one up here, but I'm not going to open it at the minute. What next? Purge Trooper? Let's go Purge Trooper. So this one is very new. I just did a recent video. Um, scoured several Walmarts in the uh, area to find these in uh, the Illinois and Missouri areas close to where I live when I've been out and about. The last few weeks hunted down as many as i could and got to the point of okay this is plenty there's a side shot i didn't put my favorite box up here was a quick side shot of him um i don't know who that is next to him probably the shore trooper i think A couple of them but i didn't want to buy too many of them those were pretty easy to find they're still i think you can get the archive edition relatively cheap I actually found a decent decent listing for a few on ebay earlier put on my watch page i don't really want to buy i'm trying not to buy anything right now though if i can help it um unless it's an absolute steal i guess would be the only way and i still kind of want to be careful with those purge troopers so all right, nice figure. I liked the original, um, original one as well. You got basically a clone trooper mold, um, body style, and then you can get the uh, little uh, skirt, so to speak. Different, of course, helmet with pauldron. The pauldron on this guy's a little looser. I don't know what the deal was with the pauldron. I think they got lazy. I guess I'm not 100% sure why, but. They're very loose on these guys. You could spin it around if you want to. I'm not going to. I feel like I got a I got one a trooper from AliExpress. Paid extra. But when it comes from China, you can't know how much you can do. It like three dollars extra and I spun that tried to the thing was loose and I kinda of tinkered with it and I went to spin it around and it broke right off. It was this pencil thin, I mean pencil lead thin on the circular part, and I'm like Phew. The trooper itself's great, but it just I, that kind of made me mad. But nothing you can do about that, and then nothing, nothing. You're not getting that three dollar back. But obviously, I didn't even bother. But learned my lesson. I won't buy another one of those again. No pauldron style figures from AliExpress. However, buy as many clones as you want from AliExpress because they are pretty nice and they're very close to the original, like extremely. So, all right, there you go. Purge Trooper Phase Two. So I got some in a box down here. Actually, my Ferrix Troopers down here in a box, too. I'm sharing a box with the Ferrix Troopers and the Purge Troopers down here. All right. What have we next? Let's see what else we got here. Uh, just open one of them. We can go. I got lots of things to open. I'm not going to double up, per se. Something I haven't opened, so... Slide those there. Alright, let's go here next. We got a Force Unleashed Imperial Senate Guard. Um, I don't like how GameStop kind of throws these stickers on even though I'm opening this and with the box I still feel like I should pull this sticker off now it's got me 
so. Should peel off fairly easily though. That's the good part. The good news is the stickiness, so to speak, of these GameStop stickers. They're not papery. They're a little more waxy, I guess. That's probably the only way I could think to put it. More waxy on the sticker side. So it doesn't, uh, when it peels, it doesn't tear. So that's very nice. It's truthfully, and that's very nice, by the way. To say it, to put it that way, is it's a good thing. Um, so anyway... This guy, Force Unleashed, follows Darth Vader's secret appearance, trained in to hunt down and destroy Jedi. While Imperial Senate guards impose the will of the Emperor of, on, on the galaxy. So I, I like this figure. It's a pretty cool figure. Um, he comes with a scout pistol and a staff, lightsaber staff, which is kind of odd to me that they get these. Um, I don't know, never heard exactly the, uh, story behind these, but, uh, you would think, uh, they wouldn't have this type of weapon, but, uh, they do, so, just gonna put it in there, I don't want to stay in there very good. These guys, yep. Just kind of stash it in there as best as you can. But, uh, here's your look. I like these, though. Love this figure in general. I liked the Senate Guards with the uh, four pack, but uh, it was nice to them put these back out. Of course, you don't get the big cape, obviously. It's pretty much the same figure with the exception of, I believe, the black here on the legs and the arms is all blue. I think that figure is completely blue. Um, this gives you the black, so it doesn't show quite as well, but I, I do like this figure. Or uh, Actually, the Senate Guard's got a different helmet, but uh, same body. But uh, I like that figure. I was kind of glad to see. Those were 13 bucks each, so not bad. Uh, let's see. And mark them half off of their clearance, obviously. What's next? What's next? What's next? What's next? Another Fallen Order figure. The Knight Brother Warrior. Knight Brother Warriors. Territorial and extremely hostile fighters known for their proficient use of mixed combat styles. So Darth Maul. Uh, Dothamirian. I think that's how you say it. From Dothamir, right? I think that's the planet. But uh, this is basically the Darth Maul mold, obviously. So you get this dude. Then you also have the Knight Brother Archer, which I did not buy any extra of. Oh my god, I did get three. I got three open this guy now have like six i think five or six so we have a small troop builder this piece can come off i didn't know that till the other day when i was tinkering with this guy so it makes it easier if you want to just shove it up the bottom because sometimes that's the best way to go to get these things on there and then voila there you have it you can make a good savage press out of this guy by the way colors are good you're right there. Maybe you need to bulk the head up a little bit, shorten the horns, make him a little taller, bigger, but uh, there he is. Got short, stubby legs, knees, and some of these figures are funny because the knees, they bend, I feel like, I don't know, their knees, I feel like they're at their shins. But, uh, I don't know. Anyway, all right, here's them. Got five in so far. I got plenty over here. I'll try to open one of each. I'll end up leaving a couple extra that we've done once already. Um, because I've got those three there done. Got one here, got one here. We got some plenty of stuff to go, go around.
This is my official last member of the band. If you want to count it, everyone's like seven, take seven. Well, guess what? Numero seven. Oh. <laughs> Numero seven. Oh. Yeah. Um, number seven makes the band complete. We have a complete band now. Should just probably bust open one of my cantina bar uh, displays. Yeah, this box was a little beat up in front, so wasn't a big deal. The, the front man for the modal nodes playing the clue horn. Well, now I can have them all play different things. We, I, officially have enough for the band. We're getting the band back together. I'm on a mission from God. And if you're old enough to know what that is. A good old movie there. From back in the day. Anyhow. So, pulling this out. It's weird how some of this stuff just pops out real easy. And I don't know why they made them that way that piece. I guess they're afraid they're going to swap mouthpieces on the whatever those that horn is. Yeah, these guys are pretty plain, Jane. Not much to them. Uh, I mean, I'm pretty sure the mold is... I think part of the body is reused. I know the hands are the hands are definitely a new mold when you look at figures in general. Talk about si figure black series figures in general. The hand is a new mold. That much I'm pretty sure of. Um, I don't know about the legs and feet. You know, with Hasbro, a lot of stuff's reused. So, pretty sure you can get a uh, some kind of different type figure mold but uh somebody's probably got something like that i know you could use the middle piece if you made like a bail organ or something that actually that middle piece that makes me think could match up with uh galen urso maybe the rogue one figure i don't know pretty close so all right moving along still got three or four over here that one, one, two, three, four. I got like five or six I can open. Still, we'll crack it and open. Got this the other day for thirteen. Got this from GameStop too. Um, I have one of these open already, but I thought it'd be cool to have a separate one because I have a lot. I have like eighteen, I think, Royal Guards open. Um, and I dare say I'll have some more at some point in time. May do him last. Security droid from the Mando. Nine bucks, nine ninety nine. Him and the my last figure, the modal no, my last modal no guy. Those are nine bucks on Amazon, nine ninety nine last week. Um, so I finished him up by getting him. And then I've got these, which I'd bought a couple of these before for like 13 or 14. And they had they they had been marked down, so I, mean, I got a few more. Spent a few more bucks. I got only over three, so I got the three, which I don't think I would have win anymore anyway. I don't know that having a giant army of these guys is particularly good for any setup because you know this was only they were only used in what the one episode maybe maybe two. It's hard to remember. I have to go back and watch Mando. But uh, it'd been funny at the legs. I never noticed that. You could kind of twist this top part up here, this right under his waist. But uh, at any rate, I do like them. I mean, they're cool looking droids. They're pretty basic, but uh, they work fine. That's the best way to put it, they work well. So, put the gun in here. Put the Rebel Blaster, the common, common blaster pistol that the uh, Rebel Alliance uses. So you get that guy. Good looking figure though. I like that one. Alright. He's the, what are they? KX Security Droid? New Republic Security Droid. KX Droid was the guy 
that I got from an old GameStop guy. Anyway, I only got one or two over there I could open too. I may have to do a separate party later or something. Alright, we're getting there. Getting close to calling it a night on this. Do a couple more. This is one of my favorite ones. This still was it was still 14, but still for that price. I was very, very pleased to get him for that. This is $29.99. And I don't know why at what point these got that high. That was kind of silly. When you think about it, has have you ever had you, have you ever seen this figure at that price? No. Sign at twenty six ninety nine. That's as high as I've seen him. So I think they jacked that price up for that way when they marked him on clearance. They didn't have to take him down too high because they probably thought we're going to take a shot on these guys, uh, sell them several, and they might have, they may not. But even at fourteen bucks, that's still not a bad deal for a clone trooper. If you're like me and you love pro clone troopers. That's really, it's a pretty good deal. Let's see, what does he have? Battlefront 2, players calling reinforcements from the most skilled soldiers and units in the galaxy, including the aerial specialist jet troopers. I love this color scheme of these guys. And you can always put them with the 501st because they're blue, I guess. If you ask me again. Um, I have several of these. I got these all at 20, 21, 22, 23 at the most. I never paid more than that. That's why I'm like, that sticker, I don't, I don't get that. I don't get that sticker at all. Um, or what made them think that they were gonna sell. If they, cause I know when they went up, cause when I got mine, I got mine early on and they weren't that expensive. And I know when I got mine, I got a handful of them and I know when I got them, they weren't that high and all of a sudden, like when they start hitting actual stores, which I will say GameStop's one of the better ones about uh, you getting your pre-order before it hits the store. Just saying, not many stores are. Target is not anymore at all. Walmart, definitely not. So, but I know that they were not priced that way. And I started seeing them all of a sudden. I went in a couple stores. I went in a store in Kentucky, you know, south of me. And I'm like, one night, and it was like $26.99. I'm like, what the heck happened here? Like, they were not that high. So, anyway, I like this figure. It, it, clone, you know. As I say, I like clone troopers. All right, while well, we're winding down, let's see what I got left. I mean, I honestly got... I could do three more, but I don't know if I'm going to do them all right there together. I think I'm going to do this guy last, or... I don't know, I'm tempted just to call it quits. I've opened quite a bit of stuff. So, um, I could do... No, that's the Black Series. I'm not going to do that all right now. Do that separate, so... We got, uh, it's Christmas break officially for me. Got a few days of working at FedEx on the agenda but after that i'm gonna take some days off probably gonna spend a little time opening toys um won't get much for christmas because i've really i've bought if you as you see if you ever if you're a one of the few people that do subscribe and watch me you see i've got a lot of stuff so i didn't require and i asked for not for christmas presents from my from my wife and kids so you don't need to buy me anything so we'll see all right, well, let's call it, really, yeah, you get the same basic figure as the uh, one I just opened, so we'll probably do a separate video later, but uh, that's pretty good. What'd we do, six, seven, eight figures? Not bad. I got six, I got seven more right here. Um, again, some of them are double, so I may do a multiple uh, different another another opening party i've got some cobra reaction gi joe reaction figures i want to do an opening party for t excuse me too um those are pretty simple though five poa figures are easy anyway all right guys well that's it for the opening party for tonight i'm kind of getting tired and i gotta get up and work tomorrow i got like i said three straight days and i'm gonna take some time i'm taking about nine days uh, eight nine days off of myself before i go back to work for the 
next semester of school. So, anyway, hit that like and subscribe button. You want to check out more unboxings and openings and uh, opening parties. We'll do a few more. Got plenty of vintage collection. Got plenty of things to do. So, we may do some more opening parties soon. So, anyway, thanks for watching, guys. I'm Beast from Beast Toys. We'll see you.